All right, so this is the this is the gear stack I've made for the machine. As a point of interest here, these gears here and the the ten tooth underneath here, um, these are all made out of half inch plywood. Um, some nice cabinet grade, not as many layers as as uh, you might want for something like this, but enough for my purposes and um, part one of those purposes is that it needs to be relatively inexpensive. This gear is high density polyethylene. Um, what uh, this is cut out of is a cutting board I picked up at the Goodwill for four bucks. Now you can get sheets of this from distributors for I think a sheet this big is about 50 50 60 dollars something like that this was four and it's just a cutting board and as you can see it cuts very nicely um, it's perfectly rigid but it's not real brittle I've never had a tooth break off and we're gonna put this to the test in the machine as I've got this motor here from a bread machine that uh, turned out to be too fast about 3500 rpm and there was no way I was going to be able to reasonably um, gear that down to use for the die machine. 3500 down to 10 or 12 RPM is a little too unreasonable. I did make this gear stack here and so we're, we're going from a drive gear of some kind here that this is a 40 teeth to 15 to another 40 and under this one is 10 teeth and then this one is 60 and it's got to be more than that I don't remember I'll put it in the notes um, some larger quantity of teeth than these two and then what I'm doing is I'm running it off a drill now the drill is itself or 750 rpm still very hard to gear down um, I would have had to add more gears here to the stack. So what I did is I went to Harbor Freight and I picked up one of these. Um, it's a, they call it a router speed control, but it's really a speed control for any brush type motor, which of course a drill is. I tried it on the bread machine motor, but it's the wrong kind and it didn't have any effect at all. So when it runs, it looks like this. As you can see, I'm getting about somewhere between 15 and 20 RPM, which I think will, will work very nicely for the machine.